All right, a beautiful, perfect day today, mm -hmm. and I have one request of you. Could okay. you hit the pause button on Wouldn't this? Wouldn't be nice? Could you do that? If I wanted to adjust something, <laughs> I'd bring the wind down just a little bit. All right. Still a breeze. To so you tweak around. it just a little bit. Just a tiny little tweak. All so right. make it a 10 instead of maybe a what, 9.8 today. Okay. Tomorrow <laughs> is going to be nearly ideal as well. The relief from the heat, courtesy of our old friend, the jet stream. That's the main storm track for North America, taking that big dive to the south that you see in the eastern half of the country does a couple of things. First, it unleashes that below average air on us. Second, it pushes the heat bubble, all that really hot, steamy air farther out to the west. So they're still baking underneath that for the western half of the country, but below average temperatures for at least the next couple of days going to be sticking around at the mid state along with dry weather as well. Yesterday showers and thunderstorms long gone way down to our south and there's nothing new brewing that's going to impact us over the next couple of days. So things are looking very nice out there this evening. Just partly cloudy skies over downtown Nashville. A similar perspective from all of our weather bug cameras. Flag standing out a little bit with those strong winds from the north and northeast. Tomorrow still a noticeable breeze, but probably not quite as gusty as the conditions that we had today. Brilliant sunshine right now over Woodland Middle School in Brentwood. Current temperatures, you don't get to show a map like this very often in the month of July at 530 in the evening. 81 degrees right now in Nashville, 80 in Smyrna, only 75 in Murfreesboro, 80 on the button right now in Pleasant View. The warmest spot of the map, 84 degrees in Parsons right now. That's it. Average high temperature, 89 degrees today. Tomorrow's average high temperature is 90 degrees. So when we're staying below that, we're in really good shape and it's going to continue like that throughout the evening. So if you're heading out to the sounds game, perfect weather for a baseball game this evening. Temperatures a couple degrees cooler as they throw the first pitch about an hour and a half from now at 705. Winds out of the north. So that means the ball is going to be blown out to center field. So maybe you get to watch a high scoring game there. Of course, have highlights on that later on. Temperatures are going to drop throughout the night down to the upper 60s and low 70s already by 10 p.m. And the coolest night that we've had in a month, over a month. In fact, the last time we've been this cool was late June, so we're going to drop into the low 60s. Windows open weather for the first time in a while, even a couple upper 50s possible on the map by early tomorrow morning, and then we warm up, but it's still going to be a very nice late July day. Temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s by noon up into the mid 80s for high temperatures tomorrow afternoon. Couple degrees warmer than today, got up to 84 degrees for an official high temperature in Nashville today. I think tomorrow reach up to about 86 degrees, but that's still not bad at all. More importantly, the humidity is going to drop even more. Dew points by tomorrow morning are going to be in the mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. That is fantastic territory. That's the important number when it comes to the humidity. It's where we rank things on the muggy meter. Yesterday, we we're at the top of the scale. Those dew points were in the mid 70s. Today, we've been in the low 60s, which is pretty acceptable for late July. Tomorrow, though, starting off in the 50s as good as it gets this time of year. Of course, eventually reality is going to return to the mid-state, but not until we get into about the middle of next week. Heading out to Titans training camp tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will be in the mid 80s and noticeable breeze once again out of the northeast around 10 to 15 miles an hour, but it should be great out there. And of course, they love that news as well and still no rain in the horizon anytime soon. Let's check out the seven day forecast. Temperatures are going to warm up as we head through next week back up to around 90 by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and that can continue Thursday. The humidity will be back by Wednesday and Thursday. That means a chance of spotty storms. The best chance of storms is going to arrive on Friday. At this point, though, it looks like that's going to be out of the way in time for another nice looking weekend for the first weekend in August, too. We'll hope we can keep this going kind of every weekend for a while. I know Joe wouldn't mind that at all. Absolutely, Paul.